events and issues shaping our community. This is Comcast Newsmakers. We're in Tallahassee for these series of Comcast Newsmakers discussing different children's issues. I'm Spiro Ken, and we thank you for joining us. Representative Yoli Roberson is our guest for this hour. She's from District 104 in Miami, and thanks very much for joining us. Um, this has been an interesting time for you because it's your last session. You're being term limited out after this session, right? It is, thank you for having after me. After eight years. <laughs> after eight years, yes. I've served eight years and time passed so fast. I don't even realize when, uh, where it went. This has been an experience that will change your life. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, Absolutely. and in what way? Well, a little girl growing up in Haiti, coming here at the, uh, in my team, you don't speak English when you get here, and all of a sudden, you know, I mean, you grow up to become a nurse, you be an attorney, and not only you practice law, and then now you have a chance to make law. It's, um, it's, uh, it's a tremendous privilege. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's, uh, you must be a role model for many people in the Haitian community. I, uh, I don't know if I am, but I'd like to think that um, I'd like to see other young people follow my, follow my lead. That's amazing. It's amazing. What a, what a, a tremendous story you have. Uh, let's talk a few things about the session because this has been a unique session mm -hmm. uh, in, in more ways than one, the fact that you're actually leaving after the end of the session. But, but the fact is um, the budget has been a big issue uh, and prioritization for children's issues has been a big issue. Uh, everybody I've spoken to have said, has said that uh, education and health care seem to be the two big issues of facing the legislators this year. Yes, indeed it has. Uh, those two issues have uh, dominated the session since uh, since, since March 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, for and those are the basics now. We're not talking about any new things, just exactly. the basics. Yeah. Those are the basics because uh, when you get to the point where you're not funding uh, poor pregnant women program, that is an issue. When you're cutting healthy start, that is an issue. That is a major issue. One in every eight children in the state of Florida is born uh, prematurely. And uh, one in every 43 children in the state of Florida is born with a major birth defect. So we don't have the luxury to not fund uh, prenatal care because it's just been uh, a penny wise and a pound foolish. Because those children are gonna cost us so much more money. And I think it's a matter of priority as well. And we should have prioritized better. Uh, we needed to prioritize better. And I think we have failed all children by not doing so. Uh, uninsured children. Uh, we've done a better care with kid care, a better job with kid care here in the state of Florida, uh, and and of course, uh, but we haven't gone far enough. There's still some children out there that are still uninsured, whose parents might not know about the program. There is no reason why 800,000 of uh, children should be uninsured in the state of Florida. There is no reason why any uh, children should be uninsured. Any child should be uninsured for the simple reason they are. It's the cheapest way. I mean, children, it's very cheap to insure those, those children. And uh, especially after uh, the extension of the CHIP program, the federal CHIP program, uh, we should have been able to uh, insure those children. We chose not to. And then by not funding uh, kid care fully for, uh, to insure those children, we end up leaving a lot of federal money on the table. And I, uh, I hope with, uh, with the new health care reform, we will not have to, disc uh, to have any uninsured child in the state of Florida ever again. So a lot of pluses with the national health care reform, but is it affecting our budget here in the state of Florida as well? Well, since uh, there are a lot of things that we have not ironed out as far as the uh, federal health care reform. And right now, the state of Florida, the, uh, the leadership in the state of Florida, have decided that they want to fight it. They want to go to court, they want to, uh, to exempt themselves from, uh, from having to uh, implement it in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I think it's unwise. I think they don't have a chance, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll come, we'll come, right? We'll, come. we'll have a great time uh, in the private sector and or whatever you plan on doing, Representative. Eight years up here is quite an accomplishment. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank very you. much. This hour's newsmaker, Representative Yoli Roberson from District 104 in Miami. I'm Spiro Cannon here in Tallahassee, and we thank you for joining us.